Hello, this is Angel Messages with Caroline Nettle. Um, I will be unable to do the reading for you next week because I will be doing the Bristol Basket Brigade, which is where we um, make up hampers and deliver them to those that really can't afford Christmas. So I'm afraid uh, I will be unable to do a reading for you next week. But I will be resuming again on the 29th as usual and should be able to do them every week going into the new year. So I'm excited to find out what the angels want you to know. <laughs> going into the new year. So, well, that's a great card. <coughs> <coughs> so the first card I pulled was You Found It, which is St. Anthony of Padua. <laughs> which is a great card. Then I pulled Practice Makes Perfect, Guardian Angels. And then I have Pray from your Guardian Angels and that's such a delightful card. So you found it from St. Anthony of Padua. I'm really getting a sense that across the planet, people are waking up. And starting to move more into who they really are. Let me blow my nose. <coughs> and you found it really feels to me like the angels are saying, well done, you know. And you found it really feels to me like the angels are saying to you, well done. This has been a tough, tough year across the board. And um, we're all still here. Many, many people are choosing to leave the planet right now. Or have been for the last, say, five or six years. And I think it's because the energy is just getting stronger and stronger. But you decided to stay. You decided to be here. And you need to say to yourself, well done for that choice. Because it was a choice that you made. And here we are, looking into a brand new year. Um, and all that that brings and the opportunity and the possibility and you found it, you found the desire to improve yourself, make the world a better place, um, help the planet to, f to mend. I'm really feeling like this is a massive, great, big well done um, from the angels and the angelic realms. <clears throat> and keep doing what you're doing, keep, um, Keep looking at yourself. Keep getting rid of all the stuff that you don't need anymore. And when you're done with this lifetime, work on letting go of past lifetimes. Everything that's holding you back, because at the moment the vibration on the planet is really, really starting to rise. And if you're in, you know, in on the if and if you're on the journey, and you're already making steps, it's going to be much, much easier transition for you. And actually, they're pulling me into mind of the next one. Practice makes perfect. Okay, this is your guardian angel. Now, you know, very much like when you start to play a, new, a musical instrument, she's starting to, it looks like a harp. When you first start, it's absolutely ugly. The noise is horrifying and um yeah it's it's not very much fun for those around you but as you slowly and methodically keep practicing the same thing and um experimenting and just <clears throat> relaxing into the music after a certain amount of time for no <coughs> after a certain amount of time that is not in any way uh, quantifiable suddenly you're playing music and that's exactly the same with spiritual lessons and the spiritual journey it's all about you know meditating every day if that's what you're called to do or reading uplifting books every day or just you know <clears throat> deciding that you're going to be kind to yourself and kind to other people and um do things which help the planet. They're all very tiny decisions that have massive impacts. 
And practice makes perfect is very apt for around the Christmas time when we have to interact with our family members. And I love the saying by Ram Das, which says, if you think you're enlightened, go and spend some time with your family. Family members have been put on this earth and have agreed to come with us to teach us exactly what we want to know. So it's um, it can be a very, very challenging time for some. For others, it's, it's a wonderful time and I wish you all happiness and health. But for some, Chris, Christmas and spending, you know, enormous time, amounts of time with their family... Is, is just not fun. It's very, very stressful. So again, taking all that you've learned in your spiritual practice into the family arena, not taking everything so personally, trying to send them love instead of going back into the child and being angry, trying to understand that they're just doing the best that they can, even if it's not what you would like. So lots of different little um, bits of advice they're giving me here to help you have a, a happier Christmas with your family if, if you choose to spend it with your family. If you're away from your family, then looking after yourself and giving yourself the love that you need. And then we move on to pray. Now I love this card. Look at those two little angels. Guardian angels, pray for whatever it is that you need. And you might be praying for tolerance, um, kindness, humility, patience, or you might be praying for a better world, or that the angels help you immediately with your financial situation if, you've got, if you're having problems. But praying isn't a, an art that you perfect. It's just, to me, like having a conversation with your angels or, or deity or the divinity whatever you want to whoever it is you want to pray to you know it's all it's all great but it's about having a relationship with them so that you feel like you're being heard and you and you really are just asking from the heart and I always um <clears throat> I always laughed when um, I first was learning about how to pray because I, I heard myself all the time saying, please can I have a new car? Please can I have a better job? Please can I have... And actually those aren't the things that are going to make me happy. What's going to make me happy is, is, a being, is being a much kinder person to people, is having love in my heart, is for knowing that I do a good deed every day, for being grateful, humble and all those sorts of things. So as we're coming up to Christmas, which is a time of great excess and, um, you know, which is a time, <clears throat> and as we're coming up to Christmas, which can be a time of great excess and overdoing everything, pray for, um, maybe pray for, you know, love and, love and tolerance within your family or harmony or that everybody in the world who can't have such an opulent Christmas as yourself can be given more this Christmas. So really starting to use the word, you know, really starting to understand that prayer is, um, Really starting to understand that prayer is a really effective way of changing your environment, changing the world, changing yourself, and more to the point, bringing happiness and peace to those around you, if that's what you choose to pray about. So I'm not sitting here telling you what to pray about, just that my experience is that praying has been really effective in my life and in other people's lives. If you can't think what to pray for, pray for all those that are in hospital over Christmas who really can't you know, spend the time with their families and so on. So the message is here, you know, you are on the right track. Keep going and call in the angels. Pray when you need some extra help, especially over Christmas when it can be really, really challenging. So as I said, I'm going to be doing the Basket Brigade in Bristol next week. So I'm uh, pretty sure I won't be able to do a video. So um. I will come back to you again on the 29th. Um, just to remind you all that this month, so the month of December 2013, I'm running a special offer with reduced priced readings on my website, www.yourangelreadings.com. 
Um, if you want to give the gift of a, an angel reading to one of your friends or family, then please do get in touch. Um, you know, it could be the best thing that they have, you know, some guidance about how to move on in their life or how to um, bring happiness and joy and love into their lives or what's coming up for them going into the new year. So please do go and have a look at www.yourangelreadings.com and I will speak to you in a couple of weeks. Have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas wherever you are.